Hello and welcome to Altia Suite. Today, we're going to discuss sales projects. To get to our sales projects, we need to go into our customer module and then into our sales projects module. Once you get in here, you'll see a list of all your current projects that you have. To create a new one, all we got to do is go there to the new button all at the top. Once we get into a new sales project, we need to first name our project. And then you can associate a customer to the sales project. So I'm just going to choose this customer right here. And then you can give a start date on when this sales project has started. It already has started. So you can either backdate this or we can say this is in the future. Maybe this starts on the 31st. And then you can give an end date. Maybe you will want to end on the same date, but next year. So the 31st of 2025 gives us a full year. And then you can give a description of the sales project maybe some specific information involving the customer. Now in here, we can label our product owners. These might be the uh, employee that's in your account. So you want to associate your login ID there. And then we can have product members. So for both the owners and the members, you can have more than one uh, owner and member. So let's say um, we could do the same thing, same employee over there, and then maybe a different employee over here, maybe this employee. And then as far as contacts goes, you can create any number of contacts for this sales project. These could be project managers. These could be construction people. Anybody involved in the sales project, you can add them here. Um, you will be able to add more contacts later after you first create your sales project. So I'm going to go ahead and create this now. There we go. We got project one here now for our sales project. Now to get into it, to add some more information, we can simply hit that modify button to change some information around. Now our sales project looks a little bit differently. So we, we have that context section there. So now I can add some more context by modifying this again. And then finally, we've added this uh, attachment section down at the bottom to be able to attach any sort of PDF documents or any pictures that are involved in the sales project. Now the whole purpose of using sales projects is to associate the sales projects into your uh, quotations, into your orders, or into your sales invoices and purchases. So to get started with that, um, we can start with any one of these documents. We'll start with a quotation. So if I do a new quotation, the sales project is dependent on which customer we choose. So if we choose Bill Nye over here, we can drop down our project to see which one. Are we talking about this project, this project, or this project? So let's say we're going to choose a different customer. Maybe we're going to choose Jimi Hendrix over here. So now that we have Jimi Hendrix selected, now we can go and select the project that he belongs in and see I'm clicking this drop down menu and nothing's happening because Jimi Hendrix customer isn't involved in any sales projects. So I'm gonna go back to my Bill Nye and then I'm gonna choose this specific project. So project number one is the one that we're on. So I'm associating this quotation, this quotation number 29 into this project number one. And we're using Bill Nye again as a customer. And then we we'll come over here and choose a product. Here's our product. We got our, our subtotal and our taxes. Let's calculate those. This is just a quotation. There isn't going to be any financial transactions or stock transactions in this quotation. So as soon as I hit that create button, we've created a quote. But more importantly, we've created now an entry into our sales projects. Now if I go back into my customer module and go back into sales projects, I'm going to come over here and modify project number one. And when I do that, if I scroll down a little bit, I'll see the project activity. So any sort of document that you associate the sales project will be uh, placed under this project activity. And it gives you a little date range field over here. So throughout the year between May 31st, 2024 and 2025, we might have a uh, lots of project activity between then and now. And then we give, do give you the ability to uh, sort these by the different months, a date range, and you can see exactly what's going on with these documents. Now, if you're unsure what's going on with these documents on the sales project, if we go here to the context menu, we can view these documents and see exactly what's going on with them. So all that information is there. So as you make more sales, quotations, and orders, and purchases, they will all be listed down over here as far as product activity, so long as you make sure that you have the sales project associated with the document. So we just did one for a quotation, so I'm going to do one for now in order. <laughs> So we have sales orders in Altia Suite. This is an in-between module between our quotations and our sales projects. So if I do a new order, 
still going to choose our customer. So we can choose Mr. Bill Nye. We're going to use his billing address as the shipping. But more importantly, we're going to make sure that we associate the project that he's talking about. So sales projects in there. And let's go and drop down this. Let's see, we're going to get a dishwasher. We're going to choose that and add that to our grid. We're not going to choose a warranty. So now that we have this order, we got the subtotal, same thing. Again, same thing with the quotations as with orders. There isn't going to be any stock transactions or financial transactions. Even if we receive a deposit on the orders, there won't be any financial transactions. So if we create this order now, we have the order new created. Created today, order number 29. So now I go back into my customers, back into my sales projects. We're going to go and modify that project number one. I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and now we'll see a narration for my order, order number 29, right there. This will be the same thing for the rest of these documents. This is essentially sales, this is essentially sales projects in a nutshell. It pretty much keeps a log of all the different purchase documents all in one kind of screen. So as your sales project concludes, you can kind of give a, uh, a summary of what all happened on that project. That is sales projects in Altia Suite. Thank you.